I'm Sarah Jensen, editor of OEM Off Highway, and welcome to Design and Engineering Insights. Today, I'm talking with Trelleborg Ceiling Solutions about uh, transit seeing and the use of IoT and sensing and hydraulic systems. So uh, thank you, Johannes, for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. Um, could you maybe start uh, by talking about some of the work Trelleborg is doing in regards to the use of sensor data to improve the reliability of seals and how this uh, technology works and what benefits it offers? Absolutely. So in the off-highway industry, keeping equipment availability as high as possible is absolutely crucial. So that means planned downtime should be kept to a minimum and unplanned downtime should be avoided as much as possible. And therefore, predictive maintenance is one of the big value drivers of digitization in this industry. That means maintenance should happen not too late because then you have extremely high cost of downtime, but you also do not want to have maintenance too early to reduce maintenance costs overall. Mm -hmm. So the seal is very often the weakest part, even if Trelleborg is known for uh, being an expert in providing seals for very demanding applications like in the off-highway industry. So we call our overall approach towards uh, predictive maintenance for seals cognitive sealing. And we use artificial intelligence in order to calculate a health score by analyzing sensor data that is captured around the sealing system. Okay. Great. And so um, could you provide some details about the SEAL health score that Trelleborg has developed for um, its sealing technologies, how that was created, or and how sensor data helps to um, produce that data? Mm -hmm. So technically speaking, we use an approach uh, which is uh, known as artificial neural networks, mm -hmm. which is in fact quite an advanced technique uh, that is also known, for example, for autonomous driving. Mm -hmm. So why do we use such an advanced technique? Uh, the answer is you cannot simply just look at one sensor signal and then decide up on a clip level. So for example, if I reach this temperature or if I reach this pressure, then I know my ceiling system is unhealthy. In fact, it is much more complex and that is why we have to use such an as advanced technique and what we do is basically we combine different sensor signals which are very often already captured such as pressure such as temperature such as movement of a cylinder and uh, we basically develop an algorithm that can infer indirectly by analyzing those sensor signals the health of a ceiling system mm -hmm. okay and so um, can all of this technology be utilized in any application? Are there only certain types of applications or are there applications you're seeing uh, OEMs maybe want to utilize it more frequently than others? So typically uh, we focus on those areas with a very high cost of downtime and a high cost of maintenance. Mm -hmm. So uh, in our today's customer projects, we work with industries such as offshore, we work with industries such as energy, and uh, we work with energy industries such as aerospace. So the challenge we have in the off-highway industry is that still today, most of the maintenance happens uh, on a fixed maintenance cycle. And the seals are also changed when the maintenance happens anyway. But there is one big trend in the off-highway industry, which makes supervising the seal system and monitoring the, the seal health much more important, and that is automation. Mm. So we see more and more that automation is happening um, in the, for mining, for excavators, for example. We see this more and more. And of course, when you don't have a driver, you need another way to monitor the system. Right. Okay. All right. So then um, with that, the trend toward automation, so then would that then sensor data that you guys and the technology are integrating in the seals, that would then help to uh, kind of replace the operator and monitor that technology, or the technology would monitor things and instead of the operator? I, I, would, I would put it the other way around. I would say, in fact, 
because, I mean, uh, the biggest driver for automation is, of course, cost savings and better planning and so on. Um, so I would rather say it is not like we, uh, that cognitive ceiling helps to, replay, uh, to, uh, to replace the operator, but it's the other way around. Automation happens, and one implication is that in the future, you need better remote monitoring. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense. Um, so what benefits in general can the use of uh, the Internet of Things and sensing provide for seal manufacturers and their customers um, and the food power heavy equipment industry as a whole? So IoT is basically about two things. The first one, and that's the very obvious one, is increasing efficiency. And the second one is better engineering, providing new services and new features. The first one, increasing efficiency, we talked already about uh, if you have low, uh, less maintenance, then you can operate more, eff uh, more efficient. In the same way, we also heavily make heavy use of IoT inside our manufacturing. So that means uh, we use AI and IoT to increase efficiency and increase our expertise on processing um, so uh, since Trelleborg uh, has global has a, a set of global plans that and we have quite a huge uh, processing expertise on how to manufacture difficult parts, we even use the data that is captured inside our plants to learn more about process uh, our processes to learn more about how to engineer and mm. uh, uh, those manufacturing processes and then finally it also helps to con uh, helps to reduce the scrap rate. And finally, that's also um, a benefit for sustainability to make, uh, to, to have a more sustainable manufacturing of seals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so then how does Trellberg uh, see the use of IoT and sensing continuing to pr progress in the coming years? So Trelleborg is active in a number of industries. And more or less what we see is every industry is moving towards mm -hmm. digitization and specifically digitization of their product. And, but on the other hand, it happens with very different speed. Some industries have been doing it already for, for a decade or two. Mm -hmm. And some are, industries are just starting now, but catching up with very, uh, with very high speed. On the other hand, what we also see is that the investments into IoT are not always directly um, materializing and, and companies need to be very persistent in, in following a, their digitization strategy, uh, which pays off maybe just in one or two years. And lastly, what we also see is that more and more companies are trying to seek strategic partnerships, strategic partners for engineering, but also strategic partners for shaping the future of digitization. Visit tss.trelleborg.com you will find a section about cognitive ceiling and there is, uh, there is a, a customer interview so you can see how customers are making use of this in practice. There is a teaser video where you can understand the, the entire concept and there is a very detailed technical talk about predictive maintenance overall. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today and provide uh, insight into what the company is seeing and working on. No problem. Really appreciate it.